hello good morning friends uh, this is Ali from rewindingshop.com so now this is a continuation of our last video we will show you now to how to uh, figure out how much cable do we have to how much wire copper wire do we have to buy and of which gauge copper wire do we have to buy and also we'll show you uh, how many how to rewind the coil how to determine how many turns are going to be there so now as you can see this is our uh, stator which is uh, which is now we have removed the copper wire from and this is all the copper wire as you can see this each coil we have we have just put it together now the first step after removing all the copper wire is to weigh the wire so we know how much wire do we need to buy so we will weigh the wire on a scale now as you can see this the weight of the copper wire is around 3 kg so it is safe to get the wire about 3.5 kg because we will need a little bit of extra for the connections and all so now we know how much wire do we need now in our next step what do we need to figure out is how many turns are going to be there so we will we will take one one coil that we removed from the stator in this coil we will count the we will count the num uh, how many copper wires are there so let's count two three four So we have 39 copper wires. So in each coil now there are 39 copper wires. Now if you remember from our first video we uh, we find we found out that at in each uh, connection there are three copper wires. So that it is three copper wires which are running together to make uh, make the make each each round of the coil. So 39 divided by 3, that is 13. So that 13 is the number of turns for each coil. So that means there will be 13 turns of, of, of winding in each coil. Now once we have figured out how much, how many pounds or kgs of copper wire do we need, and how many turns are there now second now the third thing we need to know of what gauge copper wire do we need so now i will show you how to find out the gauge of the copper wire so you take this old uh, this copper wire that you have removed and you 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 lit a torch and then you heat it up a little bit like enough so that you burn you burn the varnish from the copper wire because once you from the from the gauge once you find out the gauge of the wire you should you should do it without any without any varnish or any debris or any contamination now With the help of this this gauge micrometer this is called micrometer and if you don't know how to use micrometer i have another video where uh, we have explained 
how do we use micrometer so please watch that video so with the help of micrometer we are going to find out the gauge of the copper wire okay so now as you can see just a little bit of blurry let me just make it clear so that you can see it okay now as you can see on micrometer it is it is it is point point four point nine ninety point nine zero point ninety no. uh, zero point nine okay so it is zero point nine mm of copper wire that is been used for rewinding so now this is how we determine the gauge now we know the gauge we know how much copper wire we need now we can buy the copper wire and start doing the new start making the new coils in our next videos we will show you how do we make the new coils then how do we insert the new coils we will walk you through the whole rewinding process so that you can learn from it thank you for watching my name is ali from rewindingshop.com thank you